so we will discuss today the programmatic advertising question series part 4 so let's discuss the programmatic advertising selected question list part 4 first question is how data segments work so basically your data segments include collections of website visitors or app users gathered by snippets of code added to your website or app when you create a segment or a data segment in audience segments you set rules for when visitors or users should be added to the segment you also specify a membership duration for how long you want your visitors or users to stay on the segment you will want to add these segments to your campaign ad group or targeting so that you can show ads to visitors or users on your segments. How visitors are tracked after creation of a new segment in Audience Manager? So when you first create a segment, it won't have any visitors or users. As people visit your website or your mobile app, they will be added to segments based on the rules you have set. Like for example, uh, you have set up a rule of uh, visitors under age of 30 and buying any particular product or traveling from one place to another so any kind of data set for a particular user can be set you will want to make sure you have tagged your website or enabled tracking of your data on your mobile app so that visitors or users can be added to your segments Visitors are added to your data segments within seconds after visiting a page with either the Google tag or with both the Google tag and an event snippet. Every time someone visits a page on your site containing an event snippet, the visitor's timestamp is updated. So the person remains on the segment for the amount of time specified by the membership duration. If people visit multiple pages on your website that contain event snippets, they can be added to multiple customer segments. When this happens, all the ads included in the campaign for those segments are eligible to serve. The ad with the highest ad rank will then compete for placement in the auction. What are rules under audience segments? Rules are conditions that must be met in order for a visitor or user to be added to your data segment. You can use rules to create your data segments beyond the default segments that Google Ads created for you. For example, an airline wants to show ads about flight deals to people who visit a product page on their website in the past month. They create a flight deal segment with a membership duration of 30 days and a rule to collect all visitors to a web page that has a URL that ends with flightdeals.html. When people visit this flight deals page, they are added to the flight deals segment which the airline can target with an ad campaign about flight deals. This clearly explains how the data segment is made for a particular type of audience. The uh, publisher as well as the advertiser would like to use. What is the difference between ad network and ad exchange? This is a kind of basic question. So. I thought that in uh, like there should be a mix of uh, advanced questions and basic questions of programmatic advertising. So here is one of the basic questions that what is the difference between an ad network and ad exchange? So an advertising network is an online company or an organization that connects businesses looking to advertise online with websites that are selling ad inventory, example Google Ad, ad uh, AdSense, AdCash, AppLovin versus an ad exchange is a platform that works as a digital marketplace where online publishers offer ad space and advertisers can bid for this space some examples include AppNexus, Google's double click ad exchange and Microsoft ad advertising exchange important distincting points between ad exchange and ad network where an ad network collects ad inventory from publishers and then it sells to advertisers and ad exchange acts as the digital marketplace where advertisers and publishers can purchase and sell ad inventories directly ad networks can also be seen as the intermediary between publishers and advertisers since these networks filter ad inventories based on criteria such as user demographics 
or online behavioral characteristics to help the ads reach the target audience. For example, if you sell second hand or restored car parts, users looking for such items on platforms like Google or Facebook are more likely to be shown your ads. Since ad exchanges are simply the tech platform for purchasing ad space, they are not considered an intermediary. However, because they act as an open marketplace, they can do the work of multiple ad networks while giving advertisers a fair chance at bidding and purchasing available inventories via real-time bidding. If I am using two audience segments in my campaign, what one will I be built for? So it totally depends on which audience segment you are using. If you are using third party audience segment which is billable, you will be built. If you are using first party audience segment created through audience buckets, you won't be built. What is DSP? A demand side platform is a programmatic software for advertisers that provides automated centralized media buying from multiple sources. As its name implies, a DSP is driven by the demand side of the advertising equation. Advertisers seek inventory that will help them reach the right audience at the right time within a defined budget. For example, with a demand side platform like Amazon DSP, advertisers are able to programmatically buy display ads, video ads and audio ads, both on and off Amazon sites and apps. It is available to advertisers who sell on Amazon and those who don't. Brands can reach new and engaged audiences through high quality brand safe inventory that includes Amazon owned sites such as IMDb, Twitch and leading publisher sites. What is SSP? A supply side platform is a programmatic software for publishers to facilitate sales of their advertising impressions. By connecting publishers with multiple ad exchange, demand side platforms and ad networks at once, SSPs allow publishers, ACA suppliers, to sub sell impressions to a greater pool of potential buyers, allow sub suppliers to set the bidding range to maximize their revenue. Through Amazon Public Services, Amazon offers advertisers buying through Amazon DSP direct access to high quality curated supply with better viewability, lower CPM and higher return on ad spend. How do DSP and SSPs work together? A demand side platform is a programmatic software for advertisers. A DSP helps facilitate media buying from numerous publishers through SSPs, ad exchanges, ad networks and direct integrations. DSPs help brands and agencies the demand side determine which impressions to buy and what price the supply side. The advertisers choose to reach audiences based on demographics and shopping and browsing signals through a DMP that is data management platform. And SSPs provide similar functionality technology but are used by the publishers to help optimize and get the best offer for their inventory. Aka maximizing the yield. How do ad exchange works? So ad exchange to sell their ad inventory a publisher will use an SSP to make their inventory available to ad exchanges. They will provide all necessary information on the uh, SSP needs such as page, location, price, floor amount and buyer personas. Additionally, an advertiser will use a DSP to connect to an ad exchange in search of an available, available space. When a user visits a publisher's website or mobile app, an ad request is sent to multiple exchanges and DSPs if the publisher has ad space available via the publisher's ad server. How do ad exchanges work? So once the ad request is sent, the ad exchange simultaneously sends a bid request to the DSPs. The DSPs inspect the request to determine whether that particular impression would be of nearest interest to the advertiser or not. If it is, the DSP will reply to the ad exchange with the information it needs. The ad exchange analyzes the information to determine the most relevant bidder for that inventory. This helps identify advertisers that don't meet the proper requirements such as beer ads displayed on a website about children's toys. The exchange selects the highest and most suitable bidder and their ad goes live on the publisher's website. What's impressive is that this whole process happens in mere milliseconds. If you are still not quite sure how ad exchange work, think of them as being like the stock exchange which allows you to buy and sell stock in real time on an open ad marketplace. Although it's important to know how this process works, what benefits do ad networks and ad exchange hold for your business? How do ad networks work? An ad network collects a large number of publishers that are willing to sell their advertising space to advertisers. 
the advertiser sets up their ad campaign parameters audience location ad frequency budget etc using the ad networks campaign management pol panel when a publisher send a bid request after a visitor lands on their site the user details are sent via an ad tag this tag contains relevant information about the ad space such as ad placement and the visitor when a match occurs between an advertiser's campaign and a publisher's inventory the ad details are sent to the publisher's ad server once accepted the publisher inserts the tag code html or javascript on their website the ad goes live and the advertiser can track and manage its performance in the ad networks campaign panel without needing to inform the publisher an easy analogy to remember is that ad networks are like stock brokers that help you buy the right stocks on the stock exchange based on your requirements benefits of ad networks so because ad networks connect to such a large array of premium inventory space automatically advertisers don't have to spend hours looking for inventory that suits their needs the network does it for them they can also help to improve the return on investment for both publishers and advertisers publishers can sell their inventory at premium prices and advertisers can broaden their reach through the connections ad networks provide lastly Since ads typically come with non-negotiable fixed rates, advertisers don't have to worry about haggling to sell their ads. Being able to count on automated media buying. This is especially handy if you don't have sales or negotiation experience. Benefits of ad exchanges. Kolla matabe. Ad exchanges are highly transparent and offer real-time audience insights. This enables advertisers to see where their ads are placed and also helps them improve their targeting strategies. Improved security is also a big plus and advertisers can filter or block competitor ads or ads that have sensitive or inappropriate content. Lastly, advertisers can sell all their campaigns, not just the premium ones, and publishers can save money by opting for cheaper ads that might be more relevant to their audience. So that's all for today. Uh, I hope you have liked it.